Hello, everyone. Good morning. And welcome back to another episode of Legends, Legends Only. Only, your weekly pop culture podcast where we talk about Legends, Legends Only. Only. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Welcome back, everyone. And what a week it has been. What a week. So much news. So much has happened. Yeah. <laughs> so well, Why don't you um, tell everybody what that is? Well, so announcement, everyone. Moo Moo's is not going to be here next week. Oh, right. I'm actually taking that trip. Yeah. He <laughs> is um, going to Los Angeles. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm taking a flight over to LA for the week during Grammys weekend. So who knows what I'll get into. Yeah. So we won't be talking about the Grammys. Right. <laughs> Mumu's will be reporting live from the Mandy Moore residency. Yes, I will. Front row at the mm-hmm. Mandy Moore. In the City of Angels. Intimate residency with friends. Yes. Um, looking forward to it. Yeah. I'll have a lot to talk about. Assuming I make it back. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> I don't love to fly. So we're just going to get over that. Yeah. You should probably get over that. <laughs> um, yeah. So it's been a week. So Mumu's is leaving next week. Yeah. But don't you worry. We are recording in advance a very special deep dive for all of you. Soon to be announced. Um, very soon. Yeah. Well, Some people won't week. be shocked by what it is. No. Uh, but it's timely. And I will say... Brad, it was his idea. Yes. <laughs> Even though it's very... It, it, well, it should be me. a national holiday uh, right. as far as marking the uh, anniversary. We can give you one hint. It is on an anniversary, a 10-year anniversary. Yeah, so go Google. Yeah, go Google January mm-hmm. 2010. Queens of Pop be? on... <laughs> Queens of Pop that released in January 2010. Yeah, it's been a week. So um, yeah, piggybacking... Yeah, you busy. Yeah, so last week... You know, the rare songstress herself. Mm -hmm. I got to art direct a little shoot. It was so cute. It is kind of cute. I mean, honestly, one of those Polaroids is perfectly primed for a rare side B album cover. Yes. So I got to do a little shoot at Fallon with Selena Gomez. And two of the photos could literally be an album cover. Did she smell nice? Um, Wasn't that um, near? Well, I was seven years ago, so. Oh, yeah. I mean, I was... (laughs) in the room with her but like i didn't it wasn't overwhelming there was nothing yeah but she's really nice she's super sweet and she's really funny and i was like okay i think i mean i stand people you know yes Uh, 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 uh. (laughs) such a bob it is i'm really enjoying the album yeah and she had a really good sense of humor and her interview was really good it was and she teased that there's a new song already in the works Mm -hmm. called boyfriend oh oh ha Hey, how long? Could you imagine <laughs> Featuring if she's Ashley. Ashley's? Oh my God. But like a breathy, yeah, like a breathy pop. chop house ASMR boyfriend. Didn't steal your boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> New single coming soon. Ready for it. Yeah, so that uh, happened. And that did happen. You know, I'm sure that someone out there is going to be like, oh my God, T Kyle is a sellout. And I'm like, Why? Well, because we were like shading her dancing like two no. weeks ago. Well, I was. You know what? But that's okay. It's, you know, we're objective. Right. This is what I have to say to that. You all know who my fave is. Yeah. I am on record in an episode titled 2013 where I'm straight up saying that Britney Spears does not sing her own album. So. Right. <laughs> Sometimes we say things uh, that are uh, hard to hear, but the <laughs> truth. <laughs> Literally, that album is hard to hear. Well, yeah. Britney Joan. Mm, we don't have to go there. <laughs> we never we have did. to go there. We already did. Listen to the Britney podcast episode Yeah, one episode of therapy we'll never have to revisit again. Oh, but it's actually that, a very good episode. I love revisiting that episode. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. So that was my week. And then your week was... Booking a plane ticket and preparing to go oh, oh, all the way to LA. So if you're a listener out there, I'll see you there. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not... No, I, actually, I don't know about that. But if I were to... to um. Yeah, I'll do a meetup at like the Grove where seven people will show up. <laughs> you can all take shirtless selfie pics in the mirror with Momos. 2500 Yeah. <laughs> it's a bargain. All right. Well, enough about us. Enough about this us. This is not about us. This is a place for legends. Okay. <laughs> well, um, you know, uh, cue music that I haven't created yet but 24 7 r9 watch (laughs) there is very few updates no it's few and few and far between however um 
a radio station claimed that a rep for Rihanna's team uh, issued a statement saying that despite what he said, Shaggy was not asked to audition for the album. Why would he be asked? Because he's well established. However, I guess it just didn't work out that he didn't maybe fit the vibe of the album or whatever. Um, and they said the album's coming soon, all this stuff. Um, I have, I mean, it was in quotes and it was from a, a, I believe a radio station in Jamaica, but I still feel like the rep like said more than a rep would say. So I'm not sure if that was a real thing, but anyway, that made headlines. So it was cool. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, you know, Shaggy's still not on the album. Yeah. It wasn't him. But the bigger news is the Fenty Valentine collection. Well, that. Oh, oh, wait, I see this other note, which, because I didn't know that this even happened. <laughs> so, uh, yes, Rihanna and her billionaire boyfriend have parted ways after three years together. Okay, I had no idea Rihanna had a boyfriend for three years. Yeah, so she notoriously kept it very secret. Um, his name is uh, Hassan Jamil, and they, do you remember, there was a picture set that went viral because they were, like, making out in the pool together. Oh, I didn't know that was a boyfriend, though. yeah. They just, you know, they made very rare appearances, sometimes some date nights in New York and whatever, but they didn't do the red carpets. They didn't do award show appearances together, which honestly is kind of how you keep your man in Hollywood. Like, keep him a secret. Right. They're not props. <laughs> exactly. Like other people do. Right. Oh. Um, well. I'll leave that to the imagination. <laughs> Continue. Oh, he said. Anyway. Um, oh, what? I thought you were talking about Sean. Anyway. That's a whole other. T- this is a place for legends. This is a place okay. for legends. Continue. Rihanna. I'm talking about Rihanna. <laughs> Rihanna is now single. And presumably that means that she's finally getting started on the album because she has no time for a man. That's that's what everyone's interpreting as. Well, know what she has plenty of time for. <laughs> Fenty Beauty. She sure does. We have a new promo shoot and product line. Yeah, the photos were fierce. The photos are so good. New lingerie. Yes, this is a this is her Fenty X Savage collection for Valentine's Day. So it's you know heart themed kind of or pink, red, red, loud era, loud era. Clearly, yeah, clearly evoking 2010. Yeah, the pictures are really good. She looks amazing, but it was also sort of like, uh, can you just start doing this for music? You know, we stand and when she releases the highlighters and the glitters and then the bronzer and then the foundation part three, maybe we'll get a single. Maybe. Maybe so. <laughs> maybe. One day, 24-7 R9 watch will be over. <laughs> it just will. like Mariah watch was over. It's true. Our long, hard national nightmare remains going And you strong. know what? Um, when we did the Mariah watch, it happened. So it's yeah. just only a matter of time. This is just manifesting. Yeah. Our energy. Well, speaking of product lines from Queens of Pop who are refusing to put out music right now, <laughs> the legend <laughs> Beyonce yeah. just released her new Ivy Park collection via orange boxes. Via, yes, closets. orange striped Adidas boxes. And slowly it became clear that literally every celebrity got this package in the mail. I think there were different sizes. I think there was like a locker size one and then like the giant wardrobe one that like Reese Witherspoon had. She also sent to Kelly and Michelle, which I was like... Iconic. Uh, Yeah. I would hope that they... Yeah, that she automatically sends them things always. But yeah, so I feel like the most viral one might have been Reese's. Uh (laughs) Uh-huh. Because she was in full embarrassing TikTok mom mode. It. (sighs) It's not embarrassing. No. She's well, a sweetheart. She is a sweetheart. Oh my God. Stand forever. But you I know. just loved all the tweets that were like, we need to protect Reese at all costs because she's the <laughs> only white woman that Beyonce <laughs> is like in her circle. And kind beehive. of true. Kind yeah. of true. Yeah. So we stand. <clears throat> yeah. I went to like, uh, who did I see? Got it. Like Zendaya, uh, Michelle and Kelly. Who else? Uh, Laverne Cox got it. Oh, Diplo did get it, but that makes sense. They collabed. Mm -hmm. Um, But it's kind of a, I mean, it's a fun marketing campaign. Yeah, it's great. It's so huge that, you know, everyone feels compelled to share it on social media. Um, And yeah, there's the promo videos were fierce. They were. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. Yep. She's Beyonce like strutting in. Yes. They were very TikTok-esque. They were. Perfect for TikTok. Mm -hmm. The impact. Yeah. So Reese's, if you haven't seen it, check it out. She, uh, 
great acting. Yeah. Wonderful acting. Her like mom wheels it up the driveway. Yeah, so she, cute. <laughs> she dances to Innocent formation. Innocent angel. Innocent angel. Well, now on to music mm-hmm. news because some people are putting out music. While we love our products, <laughs> um, shout out to the Brintimate collection. <laughs> Oh, I thought Which I was wearing the sweatpants, but I'm not. Shaking right now because <laughs> Ivy Park is. I know. You know. Yeah. And Fenty Beauty lingerie is it's just... shaking in a warehouse somewhere, <laughs> stored away because it was canceled after a year. Right. Discontinued. <laughs> Brint arresting. Um... <laughs> God. I was gonna. I can't even think of another word that is like. I was gonna say bransled, but that's <laughs> not. <laughs> It's on Briatus. It's fine. It's just... Broverstock.com. <laughs> Brebe. No. All right. We have to stop. We have okay. To stop. So we have to stop. Music news. <clears throat> so big announcement this week. Yes. In Bo- the land of. Uh, shit. How does the theme song go? It's like. And that was your first exclusive preview. Yes, of... that was the demo of <laughs> Billie Eilish's new 007, 007 theme, theme song. <laughs> Give it up for her. Oh God, she we... sounded amazing on that. <laughs> we should do, like, what would Goldeneye sound like? Or not Goldeneye, that's whatever. 007 sound like right. if it was different pop queens. Oh, we really should. Oh, my God. Um, sh- <laughs> All right. The... Oh, oh, look what you made me shoot. Look what you <laughs> made me shoot. Taylor Swift. Yes. <laughs> Paris Hilton's would be um Yeah. <laughs> they really should all give it a go. Mm-hmm. Mm. So anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh yeah. I mean it's kind lost. of exciting. Oh, it's very exciting. Because I feel like the theme songs are usually like darker and Yep. You know, justice for lana because her yeah, version should have been totally i think you know i think there was some negative backlash at first because i think a lot of people wanted lana which fair and i i would love i mean her version's out 24 w- exactly i mean wait honest. yeah let me rewind right, right isn't it rumored that that was going to be i think it might have been rumored but i don't it think sounds it, like ever... a bond it sounds like song. a bond song so we but... basically have it we just didn't get <laughs> Yes, I think they they would write, you know, I think one day the day may come. Who knows? It's just, it's like written in the stars, Destiny, that she should be doing a Bond theme and also just more soundtrack songs in general. And then there was heavily rumored uh, Dua Lipa uh, was supposed to do it, mm. which... That, we stand, but like... Yeah, but then she actually did that one for... But she ended up doing that song, uh, Swan Song for Alita, uh, Battle Angel, like that song so that kind of was probably her like bond theme song Hmm. and now i don't think this is a surprising pick necessarily no i think it it fits oh i think my shirt's on backwards that's fine oh (laughs) (laughs) okay (laughs) cool and uh you know i think this will be good for like uh introduce this is probably strategic introduce gen z to bond you have to start that whole new generation knowing who James Bond is. So that's good. And yeah. I mean, do we have to introduce? Like, no, oh, no, I don't. I the don't. kids these days, let me tell you this. Let me tell you something about these you know little what? TikTok shits. You know what these kids these days don't have that we did? Mm. 007, Golden Goldeneye, for N64. N64. <laughs> it will never get better than that. Never. What we need is not more Bond movies. What we need is for fucking Nintendo to remake GoldenEye 007 for the Switch now. Absolutely. And God, just memories. Do it. It's so good. The amount of fights that I've been in with the neighbors and yep. my siblings because yeah. of GoldenEye. Absolutely. The kids these days just don't know. No. They just subtweet each other. No, that was the only way I could communicate with straight people was just playing that <laughs> game with the other boys in class. That's all I knew. Right? Oh my God. One time I definitely got punched in the face <laughs> from my brother because he thought that we were like camping him. And you were. You know what that means? Well, I do. Oh yeah, because you're a gamer. <laughs> yeah, Brad's a gamer. Um, <laughs> it's basically when like a group of people like team up on one other person and it's kind of like unfair. Yeah. Gang up on somebody. So what you used to do is you'd play and it'd be all four screens in one screen. So Mm -hmm. you could kind of cheat by like looking and seeing where the other person was. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it just caused a lot of 
problems. Yeah, a lot of internal drama. Well, that's, you know, you're a bad guy. <laughs> I mean, that certainly fits. Mm-hmm. It makes sense. I'm happy for her. It'll introduce a whole new generation to James Bond just as they wanted. Yeah. There you go. Well, I don't know if they wanted that. I think they do. You have oh. to keep the the franchise fresh. When are they going to make James Bond a woman? Um, that is like, like a headline deleted. every week. Um, I don't think they're going to do that. They like barely, they always cling on to the ones they have for like years. And that's why we don't stand. We don't stand. <laughs> what was the, um, what was the girl in 007? The one that was like, oh, Mayday queen. Oh yeah. Queen of pop. Mayday. And then also the one with the short Bob with the, what was her name? Um, Octopussy. No, no. <laughs> they would not call it. A <laughs> yes. Woman. That's, that's the name of one in the Nintendo game. In the James Bond franchise, the whole, oh. the whole, the I just remember was like the polygon it. models. It was like cone tits. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like the old Lara Croft. Yeah. The in 1983 movie Octopussy. Okay. Well, she definitely wasn't in the N64 <laughs> game. All right. Well, anyway, um, she should be a queen of pop though. <laughs> well, to me, she is also, they just need a female James Bond lead. Oh yeah, they do. Uh, I say Nicole Scherzinger. <gasps> Honestly, kind of. Oh I said God. it really fast, but because I was thinking of Octopussy and the Pussycat Dolls. But now I actually think it has to be someone who has like a badass attitude. Can Chris- sing, Christina. Yeah. Oh my. Someone God. who can sing, wear heels. I would give all the money for Christina as James Bond. Tina. Yeah. <laughs> Bontina. Bontina. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. Throws the Molotov cocktail into the closet. And it explodes into pink dust like in your body video. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Okay, well. Anyway, we're You know, <laughs> we're, we're drifting. giving away too many free ideas. Too many free That's ideas. That's not why we're here today. That's actually why I'm going to Hollywood is I'm pitching this at a major studio. Oh. Bontina. <laughs> Speaking of Billie Eilish um, and something that we're not going to be talking about next week. So we'll talk about it now <laughs> yeah. in advance. We can predict it. Let's do we predict the Grammys and see how accurate we are. Okay, we can do that. Yeah. Um, yeah. So Billie Eilish was named as one of the performers at the Grammys. See, I don't, and I can't say for sure what she'll perform. Like it could, obviously bad guy would be. I feel like that was the bad guy. But I don't know. What if she does like, that she starts a new chapter here with like a a different song. Mm -hmm. I'm going to still say bad guy. Like she pulls a Britney and does slave for you before it gets released. You know, some, or just a different song on the album. I mean, she's like on the, She's definitely on the tail end of promoting the album. She already released a new song that wasn't on the album. So it's like she could do a new new song. Isn't she nominated for Best New Artist? Yeah. All right. So she's got to show the girls yeah. why she's there. So yeah. I'm excited. So it might be the most obvious song to be like, this is why I'm here. Mm-hmm. Like the one that you know. Maybe. It'll be... Um, Eight minute career intros- retrospective. Lashing around with a, a stuffed snake. A stuffed snake. Um. Yeah, so Billy is one of them. Okay. Now so there's also a list of some other legends. Yep. Demi Lovato. That's going to be a huge moment. Now, isn't this kind of her comeback? This is absolutely her comeback. She posted, as you know, this means it's real. She posted like a black square on Instagram and said, the next time you see me, I'll be singing. I'm excited. So this is the first time she'll be speaking out in any way since the news of the overdose and all of that um, since 2018, I believe. So this is a huge moment for her. And she's also doing the national anthem at the Super Bowl. So she's got a lot lined up. I'm excited for Demi. I've heard that, well, it's not exclusive or anything, but like the the reports are that the album's coming first half of 2020. Ooh. And I'm assuming she's about to address everything that's happened in the past few years. Right. Yeah, I'm excited for her. She's been quiet, which means she's been working. So this is all coming out now. Do we think she's going to do a new song? I think absolutely a new song. Same. She's not going to perform sober, so it'll have right. to be new. And I think it'll be like she can't do cool for the summer. <laughs> no, but Even we would I we would, would stand. stand. Imagine if she just like nothing's happened. Yeah, she's cool for the summer. Don't tell your mother. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna guess. My guess is new ballad addressing the situation. Mm-hmm. That's my guess. I don't think up tempo. I don't think anything fun. No, she's gonna have. Uh, she's gonna. Um, as I can't find the words, the irony. The, She's going to make a statement. Yes. I but, feel she needs to make a statement. Skyscraper part two, it gets taller. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I will say this about Demi. 
she can fucking sing. Absolutely. So yeah, live is not going to be a problem, whatever it is. I would be so happy to see her come out and just fucking slay a ballad. Just wail. And then be like, F the haters. Yeah. It's definitely going to happen, I think. Poot who? Exactly. Has she come around to poot yet? I no. don't think. I think that was not. Yeah. You know, just like Dua came around to Dula Peep. I think I think you just got to kind of accept it after a while. If you, if you embrace the She's joke. She's a sensitive girl, and that's okay. That's okay. But, you know, I just wish I could tell them. Because... Easier said than done, but if you embrace the joke and take it on, it takes away their power. So like, yeah, take and it on becomes poop. so much funnier, right? Well, I hope. Yeah, or you just kill the joke for the people who are being mean to you, because then it's like, no, she's in on it too. So yeah, just yeah, it's okay though. Do a peep, poot, exactly. Momos. Now that she, <laughs> now that she said do a peep on name. tonight's show, oh. clown. Oh. I thought- <laughs> <laughs> Right, like I, it's I thought like, you're just clown emoji. Yeah, you sitting there with your red hair. I'm the clown. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> like literally, yeah. I'm basically I'm just Chucky. Like, right. It's there was a, yeah. That's not as cool though. No, I guess not. <sighs> you just have to get canceled again, and we'll try and <laughs> try and find a better name when during find something, <laughs> whatever. Skinny legend, just call me Skinny Legend. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well... Who else is coming to the show? The Jonas Brothers are also performing. Okay, so I think it's a complete recreation of the music video. Oh, yeah. The What a Man Gotta Do. What a Man Gotta Do. Now, we definitely know they're performing that from... I mean, obviously. Unless they... They could medley it a little bit. Year 3000. They they could definitely do Year 3000 into... Could you imagine? Sucker into this new song. I could see that, too. Oh, yeah, they could do a little bit of Sucker. Yeah, because they could be like, here's why we're here... And then here's what's next. They mm-hmm. could do some of that. But I think they could even recreate if the wives are game for it, which they certainly seem to be. Oh, that could be fun. Yeah. Have them perform. Yeah, do the little the little bop beat bop dance that they do. The mm-hmm. like Have we discussed on here that Priyanka is a former queen of pop? Oh yes. Okay. Yes. I think we have. I don't know if we've actually said it on here, but it, We might not have. But we have discussed at some point privately that she she dropped some bops yeah she wants to be on that stage she wants to do that what is the one let me find she did one wasn't it one with like red one she has the song with will i am right which is a bop it's called in my city and i stand this before i knew it was priyanka and i was like oh she's like extremely famous right but it's so good. And then there was one exotic she's serving with looks. Pitbull. Mm-hmm. I that one I also remember. She's serving choreo. She is serving hair. Uh huh. She is yeah. So she's she's up there. She she's could be up, up there. there. Um, and she's extremely famous. What did you think? Well, we haven't even talked about the music video. As you are the Jonas Brothers stand. Well, there was the two second shot of Joe in his underwear. Yeah, and I was like, well, I posted my Instagram story, and I was just like. Mm, the, f- the flavor. <laughs> mm. The flavor. Oh my god, it just, it's so real. Like, and people were responding with the crying, laughing emoji. So <laughs> I'm glad that I could give you a little Thanks joy. Thanks for your support. Yep. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think it's they're just having fun. So it's like, yeah, I thought it was interesting that they did the wives again. Yeah. Uh, but you know what? That there is such like a natural joy to that whole. Mm-hmm. thing that it's like okay it's, right it's the jonas family kind of now it's like not quite brady bunch but it's kind of like now you kind of know all the characters and their 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 world fam- yeah so and i will say and i don't know if i said this on here either but when i saw the jonas brothers in the summer yeah sophie and priyanka were like jamming out at the concert in the vip lounge so i'm like i mean isn't that the goal like totally. wouldn't you want your partner to like love and stan you honestly wow what's that like <laughs> what having a partner <laughs> can't relate <laughs> oh my god having people who stand what you do uh, must be nice must be nice well anyway we love the jonas well i love the jonas brothers so yeah i like them uh, <laughs> <laughs> you have no choice <laughs> i have no choice but to stand <laughs> yeah so uh, moving down the list, mm-hmm. we also have Rosalia. Rosalia. Um, I don't know what she'll do at all, but it would be amazing if they just do um, Con Altura. 
and they mm-hmm. just I don't even know if Balvin's performing but it would be great if they did that or she'll just do one of her incredible like artistic flamenco moments yeah with heavy choreography is this her u.s award show debut mm. she did the emas she did the emas this might, it might be unless she did the amas and i'm not remembering i don't think i don't think so no i don't think so so it might be yeah this will be a big moment for her it's time it is time and it'll either be one of the songs or she could also pull a little stunt and do something new too because she's been working with literally everyone billy included she's worked with pharrell like all these people like she's probably lining up a crazy album that's coming like as i've said like she hasn't even begun to, like really trying to be a top 40 girl so like i'm sure that's coming she's just begun she's just begun having her divertido having her top 40 hits <laughs> and uh we also speaking of top 40 hits more like number one hits lizzo Lizzo. Will be performing. So I think my prediction is Truth Hurts, mm-hmm. but I also think it might be a little medley moment. Like, I think she could do Juice. I think she could do Good as Hell. Good as Hell. And then Truth Hurts. Yeah. I, I could see a trio song yeah, moment. Because she, for the Grammys, it was like honoring. I think, is she also Best New Artist? Yeah. Yeah. So it would make sense to have a little flavor of all of it. It could just end up being Truth Hurts because it's like that's the one that really took over. That's going to be good. I already like another she, big moment for her. She loves to do a reference like a sister act or a mm-hmm. Madonna reference. So I'm I'm hoping for another pop culture reference that's really fun and smart. Um, but yeah, she's going to kill it. Have you seen her on TikTok? Oh, have you seen like the latest one with at her at the guy's waist? No, I haven't seen that okay, one. That one's a lot. But oh, she, but I really like the little bag one. The little bag like, is oh, so good. It's so funny. The little she, tiny purse where she's really just good. pulling all the shit out of it. It's an actress. An actress. She's she's really killing TikTok because she stepped away from Twitter, so she has more time for TikTok. She's been you know it's a better place to be. It certainly is. So yeah, in the meantime, watch her on TikTok. I still haven't posted on TikTok yet. You know, it's a, really, I want it's to, a scary feeling. I want to, but I'm convinced that the app is stealing all your data. Well, it's definitely stolen our faces. Like the, you know, like the government has our face IDs. And, and all that, that is why I use my Memoji face for anyone who's wondering. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure have like, you seen all that new, well, this is, well, but all those like, which, <laughs> you, know, you know, the like, which, uh, spirit animal are you and that rotates and tells you which one like I'm, yeah. I'm sure they're stealing your face while you're sitting there like an idiot looking at it yeah anyway well you have know, it's it. the future great yeah can't wait see you in black mirror <laughs> <laughs> literally ashley O. oh my god <laughs> I, I, ashley O should perform Ugh, i wish could you <sighs> you know i you know Is they always Ashley O over uh yeah oh She's recording right now, and you know they always pull a last-minute stunt of a, a announcement. So you never know; Miley might still perform. It could be fun if she pulled an Ashley O moment on tour, mm. like referenced it. She has to reference it. It's such a good pop song. That would be great. If she I mean, put she on used a wig, to do that with it. Hannah Montana. Oh my god, two wigs. Yeah, literally, <laughs> literally. I just want to hear it's a double wig live. reveal. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Ashley too. That should happen for sure. Well, um, manifest it. Manifesting that. Um, next up, we have... Let me change the name here because I wrote... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. And what's this name here? Um, I spelt it wrong. Uh, yep. Um, oh, Camilla. Okay. Yes. Um, Brad wrote Canola. Oh, I wrote that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I think she's just going to do... Uh, probably uh, i actually don't think she's gonna do senorita no i think she'll do one of the romance can i make a confession songs. what um the song that was like my my what's that one my oh my yeah that was stuck in my head the other day well the thing is it's really taken off on tiktok it's really catchy she could do that yeah i don't know that she needs to make a serious state she's also been like pretty quiet since the scandal since yeah. late, you know, so it's like, oof, I don't think she should do it, but like she might be having a serious moment. Who knows? I think it should be my oh my. 
should be just let's just do that. Mm-hmm. Yep. And next up is Ariana, mm-hmm. which was actually a bit of a surprise. Yeah, because she's tail end of like yeah. caboose of sweetener era and she no, also no, no, not sweetener is it yes thank you next era yeah because that came right after and then she just put out the live album of the sweetener world tour which means basically end of the era totally is like so the doors are open for her to perform anything from the era or maybe something new but i could see her doing thank you next yeah she could do a big production of it or maybe a ballad that she wanted to give more love to or something. I don't know. All I want for Christmas is you. <laughs> a cover. <laughs> it you goes number know. one again. <laughs> yeah, honestly. A Christmas and chill track. Oh my God. Santa tell me. <laughs> Kaya tell me. Oh my God. You um, never know these days. Yeah, that'll be interesting to see. Yeah, I don't really know. I'll, you know, I would think because of thank you, Seven Rings and all of that. Oh I, yeah, the Seven Rings It drama. could be Seven Rings. Well, oh the drama. Sued, so yeah. that's probably not going to happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Seven subpoenas. Seven, <laughs> seven lawsuits. Yeah. So um, rounding out this list, which I don't know if this list is complete. I apologize. There's probably someone that we're Yeah, missing, there's still but, more being announced. Yeah, anyway. Uh, you know, we don't really like talking about men on here. Yeah. So um, the most surprising, at least for me, well, I don't know about you. I'm about to rain on your parade, but go ahead. Oh, is Gwen Stefani. Who will be joined by her husband, Blake Shelton. Okay, so I'm not excited anymore. I'm nope. just kidding. So what's I, the next topic? <laughs> I don't even know what they're doing, but now I'm sad. Ugh. I know. I know. You know what? We got a little LAMB medley on The Voice. It's like, okay, there was a song called Yummy released recently. There was by an artist I don't remember the name of. But. And uh, there is a, another version of Yummy by Gwen Stefani that Which is... Outsold leagues better i'm feeling you me hand it's so good it's so good the bridge yes yes with like the mechanical like uh, the, uh, uh, yeah. uh, uh, uh. <laughs> it's, it's so good definitely that's <laughs> not it <laughs> it's like earned 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 that <laughs> isn't it and it's like a demonic like factory uh, yeah <laughs> Okay, kind of we like could that. do we could do a little side by side of the clip, un- yeah. unless we get sued. It's like, boom, but, yeah. yeah. Okay, so that sounded a little closer to that. <laughs> and it's like, her, her, her. <laughs> if we put together all these samples, <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah, whatever. I hear it, I hear it too. Yeah. <laughs> the point is, it's good. It is, and good. I was hoping that she would do some sort of throwback, but clearly not. Oh, a yummy uh, takeover. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, well, you know, we'll have to wait and see, and then uh, talk about it in three weeks from now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, right. Wait, this one, is a breaking two, news two podcast. Weeks from now. Yes, yeah. so you know, we'll give this, you the freshest tea in a month. This is. A place for uh, quality Legend. discussions. That's right. We don't need to chase trends. No, we don't. Well, I mean, whatever. We don't. When you see what we talk about next week, <laughs> the timeliness, <laughs> you're just going to be like, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. This is a place we for We like legends. to be different. We like unique. to have fun. Because everyone's going to be talking about the Grammys next week. Yeah. But you want to know what? No one's going to be talking about what we're, we're going to talk about. That's right. So we're going to stand out. An artist that should be at the Grammys. Mm-hmm. Snubbed. Snubbed. Equally as vocally talented. Exactly. We'll get there next week. See See you soon. (laughs) Also, speaking of next week, even though Moomoo's will not be here, Mm. hopefully maybe some new music will be here. Yeah. Because there are some incomplete rough demos (laughs) that have been circulating on the internet. You know, is it 2007? Because we got demos on the internet. Like um, I feel like this never happens anymore. So no, it really doesn't. Like so, uh, for the for the kids listening, MP3s are like songs used to leak, and we would download them ahead of time. Mm-hmm. Now everyone's just like, eh, it's gonna hit streaming on Friday anyway. Like right. nobody cares that much. No. Do you remember the ones that used to be like, um, AOL Music first, first listen. listen, 
or I was like half expecting that on this one we're about to talk about. Yeah, or like bad media karma. <laughs> you remember that one? Oh yeah. What were the other ones? I feel like um, that's the. I just remember the AOL. AOL. Was, AOL music. And that was always listen. like before a Kelly Clarkson or an Ashley Simpson song. Yeah. Uh, um, to think of who what else? Are other ones. I think that's it. New music something. There was like a new music. What was the um? Oh, something exclusive. Um, shit. There was one that was like an exclusive. I forget. The point is that that's how we remember certain songs. Is that yeah. AOL first listen? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, though, for sure. Speaking of Kelly Clarkson and AOL Music first listen, do you remember oh. that song that she performed in the AOL Music concert that never came out? Wait, come here, come here. She did live the unreleased song. It's called "Come Here." Oh, right, two thousand five. Yeah, two thousand five. Kelly Clarkson from AOL Music live. It was very ahead of its time. It was like a live stream concert. And then all the fan sites ripped it into MP3s. Mm-hmm. It's like, come here, don't waste my time, darling. It was never released. You're right. You are absolutely right. Maybe one day. One Greatest day. Hits Volume 2. But My, uh, my December, even chillier. <laughs> but uh anyway back to what we were oh, right. talking about so so speaking of leaks first up we have LG6 pregnant LG6. with LG6 pregnant. lady gags 11 months and counting pregnant yeah. with LG6 Stephanie Germanata uh it's called stupid love yeah or so we think as she's said stupid love the other thing is when she was carving pumpkins for halloween she had her phone out and her thing was on itunes and it said stupid love on it. Oh, so then it's definitely that. Yeah. And yeah. the speed at which it's being ripped off the internet leads me to believe that they're not just like, oh, it's some born this way demo. It's like. Right. Like it was probably uploaded somewhere. Yeah. And someone hacked it. Yeah. So, you know, uh, stupid love exists in snippet form at this present moment uh, on gay Twitter. Mm-hmm. And various you know i've seen tiktoks of it and youtubes and it's all taken down within days or seconds yeah we won't be sharing it because no. we don't want to get sued we but don't you can search on twitter and find it probably somewhere but we don't endorse it and we definitely support buying lg6 when it comes out in 2023 yes we support women we support women in this house mm-hmm. but anyway uh stupid love if i allegedly had heard the snippets i would say that kind of sounds born this way ish with some very uh yelping kind of perfect illusiony vocals yeah really shouting i mean i need more of it i just i can't form an opinion based off of three seconds no and it also just sounds so rough that it's just kind of grating but like you know you know what bad romance demo leaked right before bad romance and it was like not clear if that was going to be what the song Uh was so we're gonna wait and see Mm mm-hmm but, but uh, something's coming. Something clearly. stupid. Something stupid is coming. <laughs> and it's a stupid love. You know, the demo might sound stupid, but I might love it. <gasps> so I'm not going to form any opinions. Wow. Because contrary to what some people <laughs> think, everyone just thinks I'm a Gaga hater and that's not true. No. No, you just have opinions. Yeah, I know. I just keep it. Last I, I heard you were allowed. I just, I'm a what? I said last I heard you were allowed to have oh, opinions. Oh, oh, alla- oh. I thought you said Never mind. Um, <laughs> Last I heard, you were uh, loud. Yeah, I just like to have fun. <laughs> um, oh, speaking of fun, I want to go back to the Fame Ball Terminal mm. Five, iconic. Yes, Monster oh my God. Ball was my first. No, Fame Ball was better. I know, legendary. The I bubble saw dress. The videos. Yeah. Oh my God. True DIY art, right there. Yeah, actually iconic. But um, I have to say, the first leg of the Monster Ball, when she's fumbling around on those, she must have fallen. 10 times at the Wang Theater in Boston, Massachusetts. She was wobbling and wobbling like a baby giraffe and I loved it. Well, because those shoes were like 4,000 feet high. Oh yeah. She was just determined and it was like the stage was like in that slanted perspective. She was just like a fallen and a fallen and then on that dentist chair for Paper Gangsta. Yeah. You know what? That that was was a time to be alive. The fame, deep dive Mm -hmm. coming eventually. But not next week. No, but not next week. Well, what is coming next week, allegedly, apparently, it better be. Allegedly, is, yes. A, according to Stan Twitter that mm-hmm. were tweeting at me, <laughs> the Pussycat Dolls, the long awaited uh, from what, like 60 days ago at this point? Yeah, at least it's, it's been at least 83 years. It's since. been at least 
four years since we heard this snippet when they performed at the X Factor. Mm -hmm. React. React. Yes, they also sprung a leak, which is actually very on brand for them (laughs) because (laughs) the last time they dropped something was 2008. So that kind of, you know, checks out for them to also still be leaking. Like it's the digital MP3 era. Yeah. Um, Now, if I allegedly heard the full song, I retweeted it. So... (laughs) Go to my Twitter. We support with it. Um, Listen, it's not my fault that they waited two months. No, I know. They should have struck while the match was hot. Yeah. And released it right then and there. So it's Uh, their fault. I agree. I agree. But I will absolutely give them all my streams when it finally comes out because it sounds amazing so far. It is fucking fire. It's better than it had any business of being because you can't just come back after 10 years and still have a good song. That like never happens. No. So it's like... Oh, you're still making good music and it sounds fresh. Mm-hmm. Incredible. But it sounds like PCD. It yep. still has like that big, dramatic, like swooping beat. Yep. Plenty of room for a dance breakdown. <sighs> and, and we even saw them do it because uh, some some pesky paparazzos were outside their dance studio. And uh, we saw a little bit of the choreography for what was the video. Yeah. Saw little rehearsals. Uh, for that and I'm they manifesting also... that we get all of it next week I need it I hope so because I've been listening to it on that like a Twitter preview yeah non-stop on loop AOL first listen yeah right <laughs> if I say jump you just say how high uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for that yeah there's a there's a lot of anticipation for this and now it's out there so they better just uh, hurry it up but you know they posted those dance rehearsal clips Nicole front and center. I di- I I do have to say I died at the single art cover, and everybody else except for Nicole only has one eye showing. Uh huh. <laughs> Did you see the tweet? It was like she won't even let them have two right? eyes. Yeah, <laughs> she won't even let them have two eyes. <laughs> you know what? They got a point. <laughs> I kind of like the cover. Oh, me too. I'm sorry. I love this whole fantasy of her being the center of attention for everything. It's so absurd. Now it's just like sure, like right. I'll take it. Do you think they really care? If they really cared... They wouldn't do it. They wouldn't do it. And I've heard or seen even that they are recording, like, all of them. Carmeet better get a solo. Exactly. I don't know. I think it's fine for them. I would be honored to be a background dancer for a queen of pop. Honestly. Oh, wait. I didn't... I'm not saying that they're background dancers. No, but... but What I'm saying is that, like... If I could be like one fifth of a formation, Mm -hmm. I would be like, that's iconic. Totally. I think they're fine with it. They wouldn't show up if they don't want to do it. And I don't know. I do think, I still think just like when they first announced, I think they need to have some sort of conversation with the public and be like, this is how we like it. Mm -hmm. This is, you know, you don't have to keep dragging Nicole's the leader of the show and that's how we like it. Right. Because it is kind of awkward that they... No other girl group operates like this. Uh, yeah. Like, is it true? Yeah, that's true. Like, no, yeah. There's no girl in the middle consistently. Even Jerry wasn't consistently. Oh, like, yeah. No, Spice Girls was all even. Oh, completely. Yeah. At any given moment, it could have been any of them. You could say they were the lead. Fifth Harmony. Just because somebody was acting out doesn't mean that they were necessarily the. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyway. They're the only ones I can think of. And just because even Destiny's Child, just because Beyonce was a superstar, they still split parts and everything. True. So it's like, this is just the most uh, unique setup for a girl group. And I love it. I, I think love it's it. funny. I'm so excited. I need like a b- huge dance break moment. Oh, actually, you know what it is? It's Vanity Six. I, they're the group that Prince put together. Vanity was the girl. She was the head of the, the group nasty girl and that's like what pussycat dolls is is like the modern version of that it's like a dance troupe making sexy music so like it kind of makes sense and in fact if they were like yeah we're the new vanity six or whatever it would anyway i hope we get a full album oh me too i haven't even thought about that but they're in the recording studio so something's (sighs) happening i hope i've heard rumblings anyway things that are coming pussycat dolls featuring kaigo oh i wish i have a dream lineup for the year and it's Kygo with the Pussycat Dolls. Mm-hmm. I yep. support that dream. Well, we'll see. Hopefully next weekend as Moomoo's is hopping on his plane 
He'll be streaming React on Spotify. My God, I wish. And I'll be shaking. I hope so. I hope I find them out there. <laughs> oh, go, it shows up to their dance studio. What if they're like, You're surprise. Like, what about Kendall? <laughs> surprise <laughs> Grammys performers. Yeah. <laughs> um, I would live. I need to know what's happening with like their U.S deal like what are you coming here yeah i need to know too because i have to decide if i'm booking this flight or not i said i was gonna come but if you're coming here i will wait are you gonna come and perform on fallon right i hope so i want it to happen nicole give us a call or ashley or whoever wants to give us a call yeah carmeet please well let's manifest it r9 pcd three three yep (laughs) Three LG- times a charm. And LG6. And LG6. <laughs> All little bobies popping out this year. What else is happening? Is it Mandy 3? Um, Yes. Mandy's in March. Right. Yeah. No, it's Mandy 4. Mandy. Well, yeah. It's actually Mandy like 6 or 7. Oh. Yeah, because we had our little folk era. Oh, right. Wild Hope and... Uh, the Greatest Hits. Amanda Lee. Greatest Hits coverage. Um, so... Do we think we're getting Hillary Duff sit... Well, you know what's funny? Last night, Mandy had her first performance of her little residency that I'm going to. Guess who was in attendance? Who? Hillary. (gasps) She was in the crowd just watching. This is a place for legends. Legends only. Maybe she'll get inspired. imagine? All about you. A friend of mine who was in the crowd went up to her and said, you should be doing this. (gasps) And what she say? To her face. I don't know what she said back, but... She said, (laughs) security. (laughs) He was then escorted off the premises. Right. she just uh, goes into her monologue promoting um, Zycam. Oh, no. She's like, I'm not doing that anymore. Zycam. <laughs> I am preparing healthy meals with Blue Apron. She's literally an Instagram influencer. She's mom. such a little influencer mom. It's so funny. But you know what? Get that coin. Yeah. Yeah. Get those SpawnCon checks. But also get in the studio again. Although right. we do know she was in the studio with her husband, Matthew Coma, who did some of Breathe and Breathe Out. And they made a cover song of Third Eye Blind's Never Let You Go, which I think is for somebody else. Like, it's on, going to be on somebody else's album. But you know what? We with stay. them singing it? Yeah, with, uh, with Hillary singing it. Matthew huh. producing it. Well, that's going to slay whatever that is. But yeah, she did a cover of that. Who knows? Maybe she was inspired to do more. Now, the Hillary, the Lizzie McGuire show was put on hold, however. Oh, yeah. After two episodes. A showrunner dropped out. Creative differences. Didn't think it was going the way they wanted it to. Now it's on hiatus. There might have been music planned for that. I don't know. Now, here's what I have to say about that. Okay. We have long talked about on here that hype is not good no how many times have we hyped things or seen people hype things and it's flopped too many times too many times right yeah as i sit here hyping our episode for next week right, which exactly. hasn't been recorded nope. yet which is fine but it's going to be our best to date yes. anyway anyway <laughs> anyway <laughs> this is a perfect example of hyping something that was not created yet yes like it would have been so much more epic if they had silently done this, yes, locked in eight episodes and then been like, bam, eight episodes available now. Lizzie McGuire is back. Oh my God. Boom. The Beyonce Here's a preview. Of Disney Channel. Here's a trailer. It's back. You can just start watching it now. And yes. now there's, and now it's just a mess. And now it's like, is it going to even. Right. Happen? It's so awkward. They were on TikTok, like joking on the set, like with showing off their scripts and stuff. And now it's like, oh, that's not even mm-hmm. happening anymore. Yeah, we've learned this lesson. The Make Me music video. Yep. Britney Jean. Yep. What else? Just everything, everything. pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> React getting promoted uh, right. two months ago and I, then not being available and honestly, then having to leak. Mm-hmm. Girls. Keep it on lock until you know it's a sure thing. Mm-hmm. Beyonce everything from now on out. Yeah. Finish it. Honest. Get it done and then post it. Yeah, it's unfortunate. However, I will say on the opposite side of that, Props to them for not going forward with just an okay reboot. Like if they thought that this was not really great, but they just wanted to fulfill obligations, they would have disappointed a lot of people. It would have tarnished the brand. Better to not even release it a mediocre product. Like wait until you believe this is the follow-up to the series. That's true. 
So props to them for having the guts to pull the plug for now, but also like stop toying with our emotions. Yeah. But I will say that is a, that is a better decision than to just fulfill the fan fantasy. Right. For sure. She's got a point. You know what? Let them make the perfect product. Speaking of, uh, she's got a point. (laughs) She does have a point. Wendy Williams is going to be on Fallon next week, so well, stay tuned. She's got some points to make about recent uh, behavior. She's been dragged. Oh. For... Isn't that, like, normal, though? Oh, yeah. But this time, I think she issued an apology for the Joaquin Phoenix commentary. Oh. The cleft commentary. Yes, yes, yes. Apparently, it was so loud that she issued an apology, and I didn't really see the whole thing. I think she's also donating to some foundations. Yeah. You know what? She gets carried away sometimes. She. That's what she said. I... <laughs> what was that? Uh, James. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I want to tell you what my pitches are for her but i'm not gonna say it oh my god i'll tell you later in private i'm very excited say a prayer that they happen i'm saying all the prayers i'm sure she's down for whatever i hope so it's interesting that she's coming around though is she about to is she touring is she um she's releasing a new album (laughs) no (laughs) ww1 is coming ww1 is coming (laughs) oh my god Uh, do you remember that remix of wendy williams oh yes if i'm dancing if i'm dancing really went viral because of wendy yeah wow so many moments all right well (laughs) james um (laughs) i feel like that's it for this week yeah i think so i think that was everything you know just getting ready to fly and uh i'm gonna see a lot of things do a lot of things headed to the west coast headed to the west coast not doing an edible this time oh yeah (laughs) We'll just uh, enjoy a little downtime. Yeah. Enjoy our lives for the next week. Mm -hmm. And um, as always, we would like to shout out our Patreon Legends Only fans. Thank you guys so much for supporting us. And uh, we hope to have that bonus episode coming soon. Yes. You know, might be pushed back a week since certain people are flying away. Right. but... But it also gives us an opportunity to listen to things. Oh, yeah. I still... I. Okay. So I think I have the one that i want you to do okay but i i'm not ready yet okay because i want to have three options because i feel like you're gonna be like i already know that one okay yeah that's fair i'm ready whenever you are okay i'll be ready midweek okay and for those who don't know what we're talking about just in case we are uh because of a uh suggestion from one of our listeners we are going to be swapping an album that we Assume the other one has not heard. We have to make sure that they've not heard it. Mm-hmm. And we'll be giving our first impressions. Yeah. Oh, it's actually perfect that you're leaving them because then that yeah. gives us time. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's great. Um, <laughs> I planned that trip specifically for this challenge. Oh, gotcha. Yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and to find Robin Anton and Nicole Scherzinger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're going to be doing that on our Patreon. It is patreon.com slash legends only. only. And yes, thank you all for your support. You are directly supporting our hosting fees and all of that. And it means a lot to us. It really does. And um, there's some bonus episodes there already. If you subscribe, you can get the RSS feed and um, add it to your podcast preferred app. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I guess that's about everything that happened this week. Yeah. And uh, Serena Williams kicks off the Australian Open. So, uh, you know, a lot of legends this week. And um, we will see you next week. See you. With a fun deep dive. A week. And then, yes. you know, Grammy commentary. I don't know. Maybe I'll tweet or something. Yeah, maybe I'll tweet. We'll see if our yeah, watch predictions for, watch came true. Yeah. Wow. Mew Mew's insider. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Until next week. Until next week. We'll see we you will soon. Oh, <laughs> no. What is it? We will see See you you soon. soon. Yeah. Is it the 10-year anniversary of that yet? No, that's next year, right? 2021? Yes. 10 years of Femme Fatale. 10 years of Femme Fatale. Oh, my God. We already did a deep dive into that, though. Yeah. On the Britney podcast, episode 2011.